Investigators say the driver accused of killing a Twin Cities police officer was distracted and on drugs. A woman from Mound slammed into Officer William Matthews as he removed a chunk of metal debris from Highway 12 in Wyzetta Friday afternoon. Witnesses stopped to help could, could not save the 47-year-old husband and father. Police say the driver who hit him, 54-year-old Beth Freeman, had a canceled license. According to criminal charges, she admitted to talking on her phone and reading text messages right before the crash. Freeman also failed a field sobriety test. Officers say they found drug paraphernalia with cocaine on it in her car. Public invited to attend Officer Matthews' funeral on Thursday. It's at 11 in the morning at Wyzetta Free Church. There is a memorial fund that's been established at Wells Fargo Bank in Wyzetta. The officer leaves behind a wife and a seven-year-old son. Four people were hospitalized after a man drove a truck into a building in central Minnesota. It happened in Zimmerman around 1 in the afternoon yesterday. The Sherburne County Sheriff's Office says a man drove 30 to 40 feet into Reliance Systems before stopping. Employees were inside working at the time. Two were airlifted while two others were taken to the hospital by ambulance. At least one victim was in critical condition. The sheriff's office says they believe alcohol was a factor. The truck driver suffered minor injuries. Names have not been released. National Hurricane Center says Irma has weakened into a tropical depression. The storm is expected to drop two to five inches across South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. As the threat from winds and storm surge dies down, the recovery effort begins in Florida. Officials estimate that nearly 14 million people, which is two-thirds of the population of Florida, they're in the dark. They have no power. At this point, authorities blaming Irma for 10 deaths in the U.S. and dozens more in the Caribbean. Tonight, you can help. Hand in Hand is a benefit for hurricane relief. Airs at 7 o'clock on WCCO. The United Nations has approved a new round of economic sanctions against North Korea. The U.N. Security Council passed a watered-down measure to further restrict trade with the country. The sanctions are aimed at pressuring North Korea into ending its nuclear weapons program. A spokesman for the South Korean president said he thinks it's significant that China and Russia agreed on the need for stronger sanctions. Tribute to a man who's pretty special to us here at WCCO. Yeah, our Reg Chapman received a prestigious award from the Minnesota Humanities Center last night, as Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us. It is an award given to Minnesota veterans who've leveraged their service to help others. I turned 21 in the sands in Kuwait, uh, so I became a man during my service to our country. Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and Operation Provide Comfort. We were. Uh, Activated for all of those, uh, all that. Yeah, that's it's weird to think about. I, I'm terrible at interviews. So. <laughs> but, we all know that's not yeah, true at all. Sorry, Reg Chapman uh, is a professional when it comes to talking with people. Good to hear veteran stories. Yeah, good. Uh, thank good, you, man. Thank nice you. meeting you. He's not as comfortable though answering the questions. What I do is so minute compared to what other veterans do every day. It's not minute. It's momentous. That's why he is a 2017 Veterans Voice winner. This is an award recognizing what Reg has done to bring people together, to tell stories that were otherwise not told, to be of service to people who maybe didn't have their own voice. Reg spends some of his days off here at the VA Medical Center. Jerry Meixner from Motown, Minnesota. Shaking hands and making contacts. Well, I'll tell you what, you give me this card, I'll give you my card. All right. How we switch? He uses those contacts to tell stories, using his job at WCCO as a platform for a cause he so deeply believes in. He shared stories on PTSD, on memorials, on veterans' health challenges. He's able to empathize because of his own experience. Ralph Huesner works for Minneapolis's Veteran Affairs. He doesn't talk much about this publicly, um, but he prefaces his stories about VA or veterans, saying, I'm a veteran, uh, just want to let people know that. That, I think, goes a long way in the veterans community. And journalism is just part of it. Reg volunteers for youth events, sings in his church, officiates weddings, and he mentors and breaks bread in his beloved North Minneapolis. So I made it kind of my thing as, as a journalist to highlight the good things that veterans do, and so now I'm getting a war for it. 20 years removed from his uniform, Reg Chapman's service never stopped. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. If you'd like to learn more about Reg and the other recipients or learn more about the honor, you can find a link at WCCO.
Reg.com. And you know, Reg, he normally MCs this event every year, right. this Veterans Voices right. Award, and he's able to help other veterans get this recognition. So nice to see that his service is recognized well, as well. And as you were noting during Susan Elizabeth's story, when they said that Reg uh, doesn't make a big deal out of no. it. He really does Not in this newsroom That's why he was so kind of uncomfortable mm -hmm. answering the questions about yeah. it, but uh, you better believe he deserves Absolutely. that award.